when sirens sound and lights flash, moving over for first responders could be life-saving. We spoke with officials about the obstacles they face when answering calls for service. Yeah, seconds matter in a lot of these emergencies that we respond to, whether it be a CPR or an infant or any other critical emergency. Seconds matter, and anytime we can keep the fire trucks moving in the right direction versus slowing down and then having to gain their momentum again, um, it just helps us get there much quicker and safely. In Twin Falls, some drivers aren't making way for vehicles responding to emergencies. So our deputies on a regular occurrence when they're dispatched to a call that requires them to run with their emergency lights and siren will find that people aren't paying attention and oftentimes fail to yield when they're responding to a call with those emergency lights flashing. I would say that that number is probably almost every call they respond to. We use our uh, emergency vehicle, the, the lights and sirens to alert pedestrians and uh, vehicle operators that were asking for the, the right of way to get through to get to the emergency as fast as we can. Sergeant Ken Mensel says that the main reason drivers fail to yield for deputies responding to calls is because they are distracted. He says it's important to be aware of your surroundings while driving by keeping music from blaring, staying off of your devices, and checking side and rear view mirrors frequently. Give the emergency vehicles the space they need to operate in by being alert and attentive to your driving and moving over to the right. Um, if you're at an intersection and you're stopped at a light and you can't move, just stay stopped. We'll navigate around you. The law says cars should yield to the right of the road and clear the intersection to allow first responders with their lights and or sirens on to pass. Not doing so could result in a $90 infraction. In some cases, the cost could be much higher. We respond to almost anything that dispatch sends out where fire and paramedics would respond to as well. And those seconds can make a difference when somebody is struggling with uh, a heart attack or uh, for whatever reason CPR is needed on scene. A lot of times our deputies will be the first one on scene and those seconds can mean the difference between life and death. Bella Bright, Idaho News 6.